Hey guys, now in this video, let's see a demo of Stateless Logic App. Now, in this video, we will create a Logic App in standard pricing tier. See guys, in consumption plan, Stateless Logic Apps are not supported. So again, Stateless, it means the run history of Logic App is not maintained. That means, we cannot find the inputs or outputs for past runs. Now, once we have created a logic app, then we will add a stateless workflow in this logic app. Now, guys, let's keep this demo simple and we will add a hard coded values in our Azure SQL DB table using this logic app. So, again, simple, straightforward demo. And then finally, we will verify that the run history of our logic app is not maintained. But guys, you may still have a question. What if we still want to maintain run history for such stateless logic app, right? So for that, you have to use app insights and you have to store your logs explicitly from within your logic app, which we will see in our upcoming videos. And now let's see the demo. So guys, we are in Azure and let's click on logic apps. Here I will say add. And guys see under consumption stateless logic apps are not supported so let's select select and let's select this workflow service plan so guys we have not discussed hosting plans as of now we will discuss hosting plans in our upcoming videos but as of now let's select this plan that is standard and i will say select let's select resource group now let's give name to our logic app so i will say stateless logic app demo let's select region let's keep this default windows plan and and let's keep this pricing plan default as well right now we don't require any zone redundancy now i will say next again let's keep the fields default i will say next see guys when we select this standard plan we have the option to select this vnet integration that is virtual network integration so as of now let's keep these fields default and we will discuss this vnet integration and then there is something called private endpoint in our upcoming videos but but again as of now let's keep it default and i will say next now guys if you see here we can enable or we can link app insights so as of now let's not link app insights so i will say no and here i will say review plus create and create so guys our logic app has been created and now let's say go to resource now guys on the left hand side can you see this workflows so let's click on this workflows and here i will say add add and see guys because we have selected the pricing plan as standard we have both the options that is stateful and stateless so here let's select stateless and let's give name so i will say stateless workflow and i will say create and now here i will add a simple trigger that is when http request is received so let's click on add a trigger i will say http I will say when HTTP request is received. So basically, with this trigger, we will get a new URL. And when we hit that new URL, this logic app, that is this workflow, will get executed. Right? So again, let's keep it simple. And you see, it, say, it says HTTP URL, URL will be generated after we save. Right? So method, let's select get. And basically, that's it. And action. I will say, say add, add an action, I will say SQL, I will say insert row and obviously we have to create a connection to this SQL database right. So here let's select this authentication type as connection string and how we can get the connection string for our Azure SQL DB. So for that, so when this is our Azure SQL DB and we are under overview and guys can you see this under overview we have this connection strings. So let's click on it and guys basically this is the connection string to connect to our Azure SQL DB but again guys ideally we should not use connection string to connect to this Azure SQL DB instead we should go for managed identity 
but again here we are keeping it simple so let's copy this i will paste it over here and i will say create and, and yes guys we all successfully created the connection and now from this database let's select our table so let's say it is tbl master employees and here i will say set columns and if i show you this table so we have this table with columns employee id and employee name and as of now this table is blank so here let's add hard coded values so i will say employee id i will say 10 and employee name harsha and basically that's it and now let's collapse this and i will say save and and now if i open this trigger see we have this url available so basically when we hit this url this logic app will get executed so now let's copy this and i will open a new tab and let's say enter and see that means our logic app must have been executed and now let's cross check the data in our db so earlier there was no record and now here if i say select star yes we have that record available and now let's cross check in azure portal if we can find the run history of this logic app let's just collapse this and let's click on this run history see guys run history and see there is nothing so basically this is a stateless workflow and we cannot track the past runs that means we cannot open any of the runs and we cannot find any input or output in those runs so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening